Hello people, you welcome back to my channel. It is the one amazing, stunning, and always beautiful Lady Jackson bringing you the weekend review to The Voice Nigeria season three. This brings me joy. And surprisingly, I don't understand what the organizers are doing. Is this how all the other seasons have been? Because I've watched it, but maybe I didn't put my heart in it, but because I just heard Nancy Sime announce that today was like the semi-finals and then next week is like the finals. I don't understand. Or is it, let me not even go to these details because it's, it's confusing, but of course, two of the contestants were eliminated today and this is heartbreaking and they are joining me. KP, congratulations! The show KP. started with um, Nancy Sime calling four contestants to come on stage. That was Esther, Dabo, Kite, and Noayo. And of course, one by one, she mentioned those who made it to the next round, which is stated, suspectedly, to be the finals of The Voice Nigeria Season 3. <sighs> This is crazy. The show started just yesterday and now they're ending. But of course, sadly, no, Ayo didn't make it to the finals. He was voted out. Naomi, then... back. Congratulations, Naomi. You can go and prepare. This was Naomi, Mark, K um, KP, Anu, and Easy. And of course, Sadly, Anu was voted out, leaving um, the other three, and they needed to perform their best for Nigerians to vote because this time it's Nigerians that are going to crown the winner for The Voice Nigeria Season 3. It's so crazy. Easy! Congratulations, Easy! Starting the show is Esther. Esther is singing, um, you be my love on top. Baby, you're the one I love. That was by Beyonce. Girl, you know what you're doing, you know? Like I said last week, and I'm saying it again. Esther knows her voice and she uses it very, very well. And then also, did you hear her calling Jesus where Beyonce calls baby, she calls Jesus. This girl knows what she's selling. <laughs> Um, Dark Ball, he's singing, um, when a man loves a woman, boy, he just do it. He can't see it, no, 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 she can't do no wrong. Try. Yes, boy, you ain't gonna be telling me that this boy doesn't know what he's doing. See, I need to put it out this way. Dark Ball knows how to deliver soulful songs. And he gives it his best. Like, literally, you could hear this guy sing from the depths of his soul. And that's what we're looking for. And on my list is Kite. Kite will be singing, um, Sexual Heathen. Yeah, that song. <laughs> Talk to me. Ooh, that song? <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Although your voice sounds like it's stressed or you're tired or something, or just something, something happened, but boy, you know how to deliver. Your showmanship is so Next, he will be delivering us with some beautiful Nigerian Afro beats, groove, showmanship. Take it away, baby. Baby, give it to me sharply, oh. Throw say for me, oh. Buy it on my oh. And I can do this all night long. Okay. Now, I need to put it out this way. KB knows what Nigerians want and he delivers. What do Nigerians want? We want showmanship, stage performance. Give us that African touch to it. And KP always delivers. My list is the one 
Mujer Oli de Yomi Mark. She'll be singing this uh, song, this South African song. I don't even know it's South African song. Um, hey, hey, my popo Deliver. Yes, I spoke the English. Girl, you knows how to deliver. I say what I said. Like, I don't understand. There is something that is so unique about Naomi is the fact that she knows that Nigerians want somebody with energy and she's a mother, a mother of one. And she's delivering this beautifully. Ah, Nigerians, you're, you're not ready for this. Her grunting, everything was just beautiful. And I hope Nigerians vote because this is hot. <laughs> the last performance for tonight, but certainly not the least, is Easy. Bold, big voice. Easy will be singing. And I am telling you. Next year we go join them, maybe they don't worry. Oh my god, girl, you, you know something. I just be telling myself that even though you didn't expect to be on the show till this point, he's an amazing singer because not everyone starts that song and give it the soulful um whisper and i am telling you oh oh my god lady jackson just be being so sexy and beautiful <laughs> guys this is amazing to watch like i was so thrilled today <laughs> So guys, it is a wrap on today's episode 17 and surprisingly, the semi-finals, like I don't understand. I don't understand. Now I need to put this out there. Um, I told y'all last week that you're going to be shocked that your favorite might not make it to the to this episode and we're, we're, I was shocked to see that you know, Ayo was not here. I, I'm, I'm shocked that Anu didn't make it. Not that I feel the others are more talented than this ones, but of course, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every of the contestants were looking stunning. The judges were looking amazing, and Nancy Isime was looking like one golden, you know, peacock, you know, with white feathers. You know, she was like. Elegance in English. Let me put it out there. Uh, let's say that today's performance, tonight's performance, determines who actually wins or who gets to the top three or top four next week. By no way, by no way. I'll start from the bottom. For me, the least performance today was KP. KP's performance was too lax. It was too lazy. It was too... Uh, it was just there. It was not the in thing we wanted. Secondly, the next performance for me was... Um, to be honest, I would say is Kite. Kite's performance, I'm trying to understand. It was beautiful, but not up to par. Oh, man, uh, yes! <laughs> Oh, we've all heard six of them sing their hats out to one person. Is uh, easy now. I understand easy did beautifully. Like her rendition of the song was good, but I felt there was a time she missed beat uh, or something. Maybe that's for me, but that's how I felt. Her voice was beautiful. She was tense. I think she was so emotional for the fact that she could find herself in the top six of this season it was amazing uh and then of course number three on the list for me today would be um Dapo. Dapo did good Dapo showed a soul and that is what we are craving for and of the top two are the top ladies number two for me would be esther esther used her voice amazingly she she stretched she delivered she determined which one of them will be crowned the winner of The Voice Nigeria Season 3. And that's it for me, Nancy Isime. But I just basically feel that this was not her best performance, but she did good because others, you, 
that Beyonce does, she didn't get it. And then, of course, she delivered, but the, the tonal sounds were shaky, but was beautiful. Because I don't know if I was on that stage, I would not even do anything. But of course, uh, Lady Jackson needs to remain the analyst that she is. Y'all gonna take it like it is. The best performance for me today was Naomi Mark. Go as grunting, a mother of one was still dancing and taking through the stage and she was like, ain't nobody gonna take this stage from me because I need the crown. I've been on this job for so long. Like, let's put it out there. If they were to call veterans on music competitions, Naomi Mark is one of them. She has gone to at least three that I know of, at least three. So yes, if we were to call the winners for this show from tonight's performance, Naomi Mark is the voice I hear season three. You can air your own opinion down in the comments, followed by Esther. Esther will be a follow-up, a very strong follow-up to that. And then I feel that book is deserving of the third spot. Now, generally, above all, I still feel the person who has the strongest fan base is KP. KP gives Nigerians, the average Nigerians, what we want. Baby, carry me the girl. This kind of song, you know, shake your booty and essential touch me, baby, all around here, baby. So that's what Nigerians want. And I think he might be the most biggest star of this season. But above all, y'all just share comments down below, share this video, and also subscribe.